wouldn't it be great if you could get a PhD in life through baseball? Welcome to Baseball PhD, a tour company for your brain. 30 major league teams, 100 places to see. Let's touch them all as we make the road trip of a lifetime. Welcome to Baseball PhD. We have Professor Bruce Bouquet from the New Jersey Institute of Technology. Welcome. Well, thank you so much for having me. It's great to be here. And you know that uh, you are a staff member of the uh, uh, New Jersey Institute of Technology located in Newark, New Jersey, the home of Mo Berg, the guy that inspired Baseball PhD. That's right. I'm an associate professor of mathematical sciences, and I'm an associate dean in the College of Science and Liberal Arts here in Newark. And Newark has a tremendous baseball history going back more than 100 years, I believe. You have been using your math skills uh, in predicting how teams will do in Major League Baseball since 1998. Right. And one of the things, let's go over, I've got the 2009 predictions, and you did a pretty good job of getting very close. And we're going to go through them super quick, starting with the National League East. You predicted the Braves were going to win 88 games. They won 86. You were two yeah, off. True. You predicted the Phillies were going to win 88 games. They won 93. Mm-hmm. For the Mets, you said they were going to win 88 games. Well, they won 70, but that's typical of the Mets. Well, yeah, and uh, they always break your heart. I am a Mets fan, and uh, the Mets do tend to break their hearts. Plus, last year they uh, did seem to have an inordinate inordinate number of injuries. Right, and that's one thing that it's very hard to build a model on is which of your key guys will get hurt. Right, you'll never know who's going to get hurt and who's going to be traded. Now, in your equation, do you have anything like a random number generator? Generator times pi, so that you can deduct what the Mets are going to lose that they should have won each year. Uh, no, I you know I, I, I wish I knew how to put in some psychology in there. But exactly, <laughs> are you, are you, you, but I think that last year at least it was better than the two previous years where they broke our hearts on the last day of the season. Right, so they at least allowed you to have a mental health September where you weren't really mad, <laughs> that's and that's right. good. Now the Florida Marlins, you said they were going to win seventy three games, they won eighty seven. Yeah, they really uh, performed well. And the, the Nationals, you said they were going to win 67. They won 59. So right, they right. really so had them at the bottom. You know, the, the extremes are the hardest ones to get. Exactly. Yeah. But you know the pecking order of teams. When we go to the National League Central, you said the Cubs were going to win it with 97 wins. They right. had 83. Right, and I had those uh, the Cubs and the Cardinals uh, really way, way off, those two, because uh, I had the Cubs by 12, and it was the Cardinals by 8. So right. that's a pretty pretty big uh, difference. You said the Cardinals were going to win 85. They won 91. Okay. The Brewers, mm-hmm. you said they were going to win 82. They won 80. The Astros, you said 80 wins. They won 74. You said the Reds were going to win 75. They won 78. The Pirates, you said they were going to win 60. They won 62. So that's pretty right. impressive. Over right, the, I got those in the, in the right order. The last four there came in, in just the right order. Exactly. Now, for oh, the think. Dodgers, you said that they were going to win 91. They won 95. Mm-hmm. At D- Diamondbacks, you said 83 wins. They won 70. Rockies, you said 83 wins. They won 92. Uh, the Giants, uh, you said 78 wins. They won 88. And the Padres, you said they were going to win 76 games. Professor, they won 75. You're only one off. So very, very impressive. Uh, When we go to the American League, you said the Yankees were going to win 99. They won 103. The Red Sox, 97. They won 95. The Jays, you said, were going to be a little better. You said 91 wins. They won 84. The Blue Jays, uh, you said 83 wins. They won 75. And the Orioles, you said 68 wins. They won 64. So you're you're very close. I've heard in previous podcasts for other uh, websites that you try to have a margin of error of, of about six games. Right. If everything, if all my numbers are right, and I and I have exactly how each player is going to perform during the season, then you should expect an error of a, about six games. Because if you flip the coin, let's say you you have a fifty fifty chance of getting heads or tails, you flip it one hundred sixty two times. The most likely outcome is eighty one and eighty one. Right. But on average, you would be off by about six and a half. Uh, right. 
you know, heads or tails from 81 and 81. So even if everything is just right, you should expect to be off by six and a half. Right. Now, when we go to the American League Central, I mean, I'm standing here right now in Cleveland, Ohio. You, <laughs> you, you had predicted that my mighty Indians were going to win 88 games. And shouldn't it have been that way? And they won 65. <laughs> but, you know, they had a fire sale. They didn't let Cliff Lee yeah. stay around and all that. And those are things that you just can't predict. Right. With math, you can't even visualize the owner of the Indians getting in an argument with his wife in August, saying, "Trim payroll. I want to go to Italy." <laughs> uh, the Twins. The wife. Yeah, the wife thing just isn't in the model. It's not in the model. It's not in the model. The Twins. He said we're going to win eighty-three. They won eighty-seven. The White Sox. He said they're going to win seventy-nine. They won seventy-nine. All right. Tigers. You said seventy-eight. They won eighty-six. And the Royals. You said 71, they won 65. So, and then lastly, the American League West. You said that the Mighty Angels were going to win 92 games. They won 97. You said the Rangers were going to win 71. They won 87. Mm -hmm. You predicted 71 wins for the A's. The A's won 75. And the Mariners, you predicted uh, 65 wins, and they won 85. Right, so, so they really overperformed, right? You picked four out of the six division winners. Let's talk about 2010. Let's start in the National League East, and then you predict that the Phillies are going to win with 90 wins this year. Right, but it's going to be very tight. Phillies and Atlanta. Now let's move to the National League Central. Uh, who do you have for winning the National League Central? Well, I have the St. Louis Cards as the team with the best record in the National League with 91 wins. Uh, we'll see if they repeat uh, from last year's performance. And then you've got Chicago at 86 wins, Milwaukee at 78, Cincinnati at 74, Houston at 73, and Pittsburgh at 66. The worst team in baseball. The worst, worst, team record, in baseball. worst record in baseball, I should say. Wow. So, yeah, you predict that Pittsburgh will be worse than the Nationals this year. That's right. All right. Now let's go west. Let's cross the whip Mississippi and go to the National League West. And you predict which team will win the National League West. Well, we have the Dodgers repeating, but it should be pretty tight with uh, Arizona and Colorado uh, being only three and four games back. Now let's go to the beautiful American League. And since you are in Newark, New Jersey, we might as well start with the National League East. Right. And, the, and the mighty Yankees. The uh, mighty Yankees, once again, they're going to be mighty. You know, as a Mets fan, it's hard for me to say that. But, you know, that's the players that, that they have really uh, have the ability to win 103 games. It's always a little tricky with such a good team because sometimes uh, they lose focus, especially at the beginning of the season. Last right. year, I believe it was, they weren't so strong at the beginning. So, so uh, often I over. The numbers come out a little high, typically, on the Yankees. So you've got the Yankees down for 103 wins, and then in second place in that division, Tampa Bay with Tampa 93. Bay, right? It should be really uh, tight between the Tampa Bay Rays and the Boston Red Sox. So now let's go to the American League Central, and you're predicting that the Minnesota Twins, as they break in target field this year, they're mm-hmm. going to have a spring in their step, and they're going to win 92 games. 92. It won't be uh, the tie that they had last year. And the White Sox, they'll finish second with 85 wins. Mm -hmm. The Tigers at 74. Mm -hmm. The Kansas City Royals at 72. Right, climbing out of the cellar. And my Cleveland Indians at 67. Yep. Yeah, well, we'll see if I'm closer this year. Last year, I predicted them to be in first, and they came in uh, close to last, and this year, looks like they might actually succeed at that. So lastly, rounding third and heading home, let's go to the American League West, the only division with just four teams. And uh, you predict... I, I predict a really tight race, and I have the Texas Rangers actually winning by a game. Wow. Over the Oakland A's. And then the and the Angels, which is you know the strong team typically in that division lately, uh, two games back at eighty. So really, those teams are so close, way too close to call. Even Seattle at seventy seven is within our six games. So by far, that'll be the most competitive division to watch for the right. two thousand ten season. Right. So that whole division and the National League East should have a nice battle at the top. Um, And the National League West should also have a nice battle. But the American League West, I mean, I think that'll be a nail biter. Thank you very much for being on Baseball PhD. Thank you very much for having me. And may the power of math be with you.